This is a rather unusual little story which should have something in it for everyone. A bit of football, a cuddly St. Bernard dog, a lonely little girl, and a lot of nostalgia. Let's start here at Llandidno, where in an upstairs room near the promenade, an old lady remembers how, as a little girl over 70 years ago, she was the reason for the founding of one of the great football teams of the world. Mrs. Elsie Partington, now 84 years old, was then just coming up to her 12th birthday. She lived in a magnificent old house outside Manchester. Her father, J.H. Davis, was a rich and successful brewer in the city. One day he brought home a large, friendly St. Bernard dog, which had been found wandering about, obviously lost, near one of the public houses owned by the brewery. Mr. Davis gave the dog to Elsie to look after. His clerk had found it on Oxford Road. It was lost after being shown at a dog show. And uh, we found the name out on the collar. And uh, that was how we got in touch with the owner. His name was Harry Stafford. And it said on the collar, my name is Major of Railway Street Crew. I am Harry Stafford's dog. Whose dog are you? And uh, that thought, we all thought that was a wonderful thing. It must belong to someone with a keen sense of humour. Anyway, my father sent for this Harry Stafford, and he came to the house, and I got so enamoured with the dog, I worshipped it nearly. It was a week after when we found him. And uh, my father tried to strike a bargain with him. Would he sell him the dog? So uh, Harry Stafford said, oh, I would sell that dog for anything in the world. He saved my life at sea. There was a man drowning, and I rushed in to save him. The man got very obstreperous, and I had to knock him out, hold him with one arm, and whistle my dog from the shore, got hold of his collar, and he brought us both in. He said, otherwise, I would have been drowned with the man. So. I think the world of that dog. But J.H. Davis was nothing if not tenacious. Elsie's birthday was approaching and he wanted to give Major to her as a birthday present. He checked further on Harry Stafford's background and found that his chief delight was playing for a local football team called Newton Heath. This is where Newton Heath used to play, at the back of the chemical works in Clayton, Manchester. Davis discovered that the club's prospects at that time were about as murky as the fog which shrouds their old pitch on this December day. Newton Heath was bankrupt and the bailiffs were about to move in. As a hard-headed businessman, Davis knew how to press home his advantage. He put it to Stafford bluntly. Which means the most to you, your club or your dog? So Harry Stafford thought for a long, long time. He said, well, I adore my dog. And he said, I adore my team as well. But, well, he said, what would you do, Mr. Davis? He said, well, I would take it over completely, furbish you with a brand new team, and you would still be retained as captain and we'd uh, make the ground decent and everything would be made all right for you. Now, if I do that, will you let me have the dog? So Harry Stafford said, uh, well, under those circumstances, we'll make it a bargain. So the bargain was made in the morning room at Mosley Hall Cheetah, where we lived, and Harry Stafford went away very happy and on my 12th birthday, he came back with the dog. While Major lived on as Elsie's pet to the ripe old age of 17, J.H. Davis converted what was a bankrupt concern into one of the most successful sides in the country. Though he'd known nothing of football till meeting Harry Stafford, he remodelled the club by buying wisely and investing £73,000 in a new ground. He also installed Harry Stafford as a director. 
Perhaps the most significant difference between the old club and the new club was that J.H. Davis changed its name. Look at this trophy presented to Miss Elsie Davis by the players of Manchester United Football Club. 